Hi guys, and uh, welcome to Layers Editing Techniques. This is the third part, I think, or the fourth. Nevertheless, you are going to learn how to split layers. And mainly, why would you split a layer? Well, there are a few reasons here, and there are your reasons, of course. The second example I have here is split layers composition. It is 10 seconds long, and I have a video that is 5 seconds long. So what I want to do is that in the middle at 2 and 15 frames, because we are in 30 frames per second, I want to add this composition happy and then go back to the same video. How would I do that? Well, firstly, you can drop another video and start, you know, trimming left and right. But another way is to split a layer. To split a layer, you have the option under edit. Edit split layer or control shift D. Notice duplicate is control D or command D on the Mac and split layer is control shift D or command shift D on the Mac. So I split the layer. Now notice the layer has been split above exactly where the timeline indicator was. Now the split layer or the new layer is on top and of course on the right. Well, it's not always on the top. It depends on your preference. If you go to preferences and then you go to general and here you have create split layers above original layer. Well, you can uncheck this and let's see what happens here. If I undo and go back, control shift D. Okay, that's a shortcut. Here you are. It has been split and it's on the bottom. So depending on your preferences, you can decide if you want to put it on bottom or on top. I prefer to leave it on top. Okay, that's what I like. You might want something else. I will undo control shift D again. Now, you notice that it's an exact split. If you put the timeline indicator here and you zoom to the maximum, it's an exact split with the frames here. So what's the purpose of all this? Let's add another composition. Let's take the happy composition. Here you are. And just drop it. So I press shift. It will snap to the timeline indicator. And here you are. And then I can move the timeline indicator to the out point of happy. Take the layer and just drop it on the timeline indicator. I press shift. It's cool. So now if you play the animation, that's what happens. You have happy that's coming out. Maybe it's too long here. And then directly you have the video that continues. So this is one way to use the split layer is for you to, you know, insert something in between. But sometimes you have other reasons. For example, the first part of the layer has a lot of animations, a lot of keyframes here, and you want to start afresh. So you split this layer. Notice that you still have the imports. If you decide, for example, to move this guy here, you can just, you know, snap over here and this guy can snap over here. So actually this is about split layer. It's very easy. Just split your layer in two. And sometimes it's very useful. Keep it in mind. And when time comes for you to have a very good application where you want to split the layers, you can apply it. Thank you. I will see you in the next lecture.